Danny Flexen, four seconds out. Delighted to be joined by a super middleweight, Zach Chelly. Zach, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. How about yourself? Yeah, very good. Lots to talk about, um, not least your entry into the Boxer Tournament, um, which takes yeah. place on the 10th of November. Um, but we'll get to that in good time. But first of all, I want to take you back a little bit. You were with Frank Warren. You were being slowly mm. built up. Uh, you beat Umar Sadiq in what I think is still a memorable fight. Um, knocked him down on the way to a hard-earned eight-round points victory, especially given what he's gone on to achieve. Um, very good win. And then took the Southern Area title against Jimmy Smith. Mm -hmm. All seems to be going very well for you. Why did you step up to light heavyweight? Uh, well, the opportunity came. I was actually I was hoping to fight for the English title straight after the Southern Area title. But um, I don't know why the Frank Warren team didn't want to give it to me. And then the opportunity came for this British title eliminator. Um, but it would be at light heavyweight. And because I, you know, I didn't want to, didn't waste time. I took it. But as the the fight got closer the, to the date, I, f I figured out that my original weight is not like heavyweight. I'm originally super weight. On the actual day, I was around seventy seven kilos, and that was even before the weigh in. I don't tell anyone, but I drank like a litre of water and had a huge breakfast just to make sure look like I was on weight. But yeah, my natural weight is super middleweight. Even though I did do the fight like heavy, I still managed to knock him out, knock him down in the second round. I still believe I won that fight, first four rounds and the last round. Giving me 50 50, but Drew did not. But you know, that's old, that's the past. I believe I won that, and now we're moving forward. Yeah, it's interesting. I think it showed A, that you shouldn't have been up at light heavyweight, but also mm. that he should have stayed at light heavyweight. He shouldn't have dropped back down to yeah. fight Sadiq later on. It was yeah. kind of a, a very strange yeah. fight. I do believe if I fought him at super middleweight, of course, I, I would have stopped him because uh, I mean, I, I dropped him while he was probably a cruiserweight on a day. Imagine if he was a super middleweight. Exactly. And you went on from there, um, obviously split with uh, the Frank Warren team or contract came to an end. We can talk about that. But then you went into yeah. a fight at Fight Camp on a matchroom show yeah. against Jack Cullen. Vast majority of observers felt you'd done enough to win, um, clearly. And yet it was ruled a draw. Uh, how did you feel at the time? You must have been devastated. Yeah, of course, um, during the fight, I thought I won easily. Clearly, clearly. In the, during even the, during the end of the fight, I was taking it easy. I was thinking, you know what, I won this clearly. I won, I'm winning most of the rounds. I'd say eight out of ten rounds clearly were mine. And then when, it, when the decision came, I was, I was just shocked. I was surprised why they do this. But I'd had a thought maybe they do this because, you know, he's he's been a match from before. He's a huge ticket seller. They want to save him. But anyway, after the fight, I got messages from all people all around the world telling me I won from, you know, from Australia to America to even people from India telling me I won the fight. And, you know, that's what, that's what matters because it's uh, the entertainment industry and, that's what matters at the end of the day. If people think you've won, you've won. What happened with the Frank Warren situation? Was it just the contract came to an end and you didn't want to renew? Or was there a split? What What's the situation? Basically, after the Cody Davis fight, my contract was coming to an end. And uh, and then after that fight, I managed to get the British board control to accept me to fight for the English title in November. So I put that forward to the to um, to Frank Warren. He said, yes, we'll make that fight happen. Uh, but just renew the contract. I said, okay. Then the, the fight came to February. They said the fight was going to happen. It never happened. They, they moved it to the next month. They never came the next month. And I was like, listen, you've been lying to me, wasting my time. Let me just go. And that was it. We just came to an end. And what's motivated you to enter into this boxer tournament? You're obviously a very successful amateur, particularly at the junior mm -hmm. level. So it's kind of harking back to that amateur format. Was that one of the attractions? Yeah, well, I'm really fair. I could do 10 rounds, but if I put all that 10 rounds in a three-round fight, I'll be, be devastating. So, yeah, that's why I, I, I'm really explosive Like when I do box. So if I put that in three rounds, yeah, it'll make a difference. What do you make of the field as a whole? Is there anyone you see as a bigger threat than anyone else? What, where do you see their level compared to yours? Um, there's another 22-year-old boxer. I think his name is Ben. I'd love ben to Riley. go against him first. <laughs> yeah, just to show people... He's 22, I'm 22, but I just want to show the people what a real, you know, 22 boxer can do against a normal 22-year-old. Um, but of course, I see Diego Costa. He seems people, like they say he's the one that no one wants to fight. I love to go against him. He seems like he comes to fight and uh, I, love, I love other boxers who want to fight. You mentioned you're only 22. You obviously turned pro quite early on. You didn't do much as a senior amateur. By do much, I don't mean you didn't achieve much. I mean, you didn't have many fights as a senior amateur. Um You've been for a lot as a 22-year-old boxer. You know, you've been yeah. on the wrong end of some decisions. You've split with a promoter. You've been on several different promoter shows. Do you ever kind of reflect mm. on that? Because you're still very young, but you've got that kind of experience that maybe a veteran normally has. 
yeah, so I'm, uh, that's, I'm actually really grateful for that. I've had the experience now, and uh, there's a lot of learning experience to use for my future years of boxing. You know, people lost till well over their 30s in boxing, and if and I've done this already this young, so I'm looking forward to the future. And you finished uni now, right? What, how did you make out? Yeah. I did really well. I finished uh, Surrey University, my degree. Now I'm happy. I uh, could do a masters, but I'm happy not to go back full time boxing now. Yeah. Well, does that set you up for a career outside boxing when all this is over? Obviously, it seems silly talking about it when you're still only 22, but you've got that degree now. Yeah, well, I did have ambition. I did business management, marketing, and uh, did have a dream to open a restaurant uh, in, the, in the future in Soho, a nice seafood restaurant. Maybe that could come in handy. But you know, hopefully, I'd be making millions from boxing, so <laughs> wouldn't uh, no. And are you still training with crossed, your yeah. dad, Zach Chelly Senior? Has he getting on? Yeah, he's doing really well. We train at home every day in my living room, so it's all good. <laughs> Presumably, you go to the gym occasionally as well. Yeah, when when they're sparring, go to the gym. Yeah. Make sure, go make sure boxers clean their gloves before sparring. Yeah, yeah, because um, you're probably not going to show us, but you told me earlier you've got a bit of a um, an infection um, under your eye because of that very reason that you unclean gloves. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not too bad, but you know it's, it's healing up. Should be better, but on by Monday. But yeah. It's a bit of a concern, isn't it? I was saying to you off camera, especially with COVID going around, people not cleaning the gloves. I mean, mm. even when me and my friends go to our local gym, we make sure we wipe down the gloves every time after use. Now. Exactly. Yeah, you got to make sure, especially uh, especially now the second with COVID, you're just correct. Yeah, you need to make sure gloves clean. And is this a long-term relationship with Boxer? So, assuming all goes well in the tournament, you'll carry on fighting on their shows or are you a free agent? What's the situation there? Well, I, um, since I left Frank Warren, uh, I was a free agent. And then uh, I noticed that because of Al Siesta, we were signed with him. He said he offered me to fight in his tournament in Belarus. Unfortunately, that couldn't happen because the British board wouldn't let us go. And then this other opportunity came with to fight in match room. And we took it, and now this other opportunity came to find a BT Sports and on box tournament, and I've taken it. So it's really nice to actually be a free agent. I can go anywhere, even though even if uh, after this tournament I could fight in Belarus or another one in Cold Wars or go to America and fight there. Yeah, so it's great being a free agent. Um, but yeah, if the boxing tournament does go well, I believe I should have a few more fights on BT Sports. Yeah, I know LCS is really keen to get you on one of the Cold War shows. We spoke to him last week, I think it was, and he you were his first choice out of people he hasn't had on the shows yet. Is that something that intrigues you, going out to Belarus and fighting a Russian, kind of Britain versus Russia? Yeah, I love that, especially um, in uh, and on Belarus, they have a lot of uh, good titles. They're like the IBF uh, Junior World title and, or the WBC Junior World title. I love to fight for one of those, or even uh, Chudinov won Umar Sadiq for a couple of weeks ago. I mean, I know if, uh, I'll suggest there's good relations with him. If we could fight for the WA Golden title, I'd be happy for that. What did you make of Umar's fight with Chudinov? I mean, obviously, I think the the decision to stop it was the right one, but he gave a good account of himself. Yeah, um, you know, we must stick did pretty well. We lasted till the last round. Uh, respectable. But I do believe it was me in the ring. Uh, Chunov's uh, style does suit mine very good. I mean, he just stays and gets hit. And, uh, you know, I love to hit, so he do well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think a lot of fighters would relish fighting Chunov for that very reason. I think there is an underrated cleverness about some of his work, but I do agree that he's not the fighter he was two or three years ago. I think if someone like do way George Grove stop him because George Grove hits hard, I think I could do the same. Yeah, George Groves is someone you're often kind of compared to and linked with. Is, is that still the case, or now he's retired, you get that a bit less? It's a bit less, yeah, of course. But you know, I always big respect to George Grove when he was a world champion. I was training with him, helping him spar. I've got pictures of me as him as a kid, and then me training with him, and then after after he retired, him giving me pads. So it's been a good journey with him. Well, you, I think we've said this before, but you were all born in the same hospital, weren't you? It's like you, George Groves and Joe Calzaghi. I believe so, yeah. All top super middle. <laughs> <And it went. laughs> it's very strange, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe there's something in the water around, around that area. <laughs> yeah. Well, um... Great stuff. All right. Well, actually, before I let you go, because people might still not be aware, just tell people how they, how they can find you on the different social media platforms. All my social media is at Zach Shelley, so Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, just Zach Shelley. Make sure you tune in on 10th of November, Box Tournament, ITV, and BT Sports. <laughs> Great stuff. We look forward to that. And um, hopefully speak to you again after the tournament. Indeed, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers, Zach. Take care.